Hey everybody, Pastor Michael here. So honored to bring you your morning manna this week. All this week we've been studying how to get the word of God inside of you. So far this is what we've learned, that we need to read it. That's pretty obvious. We need to, we need to let it read us. We need to memorize it, meditate on it, and then think it and talk it and sing it and lastly pray it so that we can receive it. James chapter one, verse 21 says this, therefore putting aside all filthiness and all that remains of wickedness, in humility, receive the word implanted, which is able to save your souls. Now, let me just stop right there for a second. Receive the word implanted. Another translation says, receive the engrafted word. What that means is, is that it's it engrafted. It means that this tree and this tree become the same tree when they're grafted together. So the word of God is being grafted into your life. And l- let me just tell you something. When, you're, when your soul and the Word of God is grafted together, it's not the Word that changes. Isn't that good news? Whatever it touches, it changes. If you'll let it get inside of you, it will heal you, it will change you, body, soul, and spirit. But you cannot afford to take the posture toward the Word of God where you stand over it. It's gotta be over you. Let it stand over you. And then by faith, receive it. Receive it into your life, receive it into your heart. And then it begins to work in you when you believe it. When you receive it, then you believe it, then it goes to work inside of you. The engrafted word, the implanted word, receive it. So as you're reading it, you don't just let it, you don't just, you don't just read it, but you, how, how do I say this? It's, it's, unless you've been there, you, you, don't, you don't understand. You receive it. It's one step beyond it. It's like you choose to believe it. This is the word of God. And we talked about that all last week. It is the word of God. It is powerful. It is living. It is active. And so you drink it in. Not only do you talk it out and sing it out and pray it out, but you receive it. You make a choice to to believe it, to let it become a part of you. Man, just reading it this morning, I came across some passages of scripture that were talking about some of the kings and I reached out and I grabbed it and I received that for myself. I brought it into my life. I made it my own. See, at some point, God by His Spirit wants to teach you the Word and put the Word in you, but at some point, you've got to work with Him. It's a dual effort and and choose to, to grab hold of it and to eat it and to drink it and to believe it and to receive it. When that happens, when you receive it, it starts to work inside of you. First you receive, then you believe, then your life changes. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.